Now we're ready to start creating the background and other elements of the email template. So, first of all, create a new layer and select the rectangle tool. Set the color fill to F1, F1, F1. Click OK. And now draw a shape all over the document, like so. This will be our main background. And to keep things clean and tidy, we will be naming our layers. So click twice on the rectangle layer and name it main background. Another way to keep things clean is to group your layers. So what you have to do is click on the layer and drag it over the create new group icon. And there we go. Another way to do that, let's just undo, is to press the command plus J keys on your keyboard for Mac or control plus J for PC. And let's name this group background. There we go. So the next step is creating the navigation and header. We want our navigation to be about 40 pixels in height. So we have to measure those pixels from the beginning of the first inner guide. So we can easily do that with the help of the rectangle marquee tool. Let's just zoom in a little. You can zoom in by pressing command plus, well, plus. Here's our guide and just start drawing a shape with the tool from here. And make sure you're pressing shift so that your shape is, becomes a perfect square. So we want 40 pixels, which is about here. Now, while that shape is marked, you can easily drag a guide there. And there we go. This will be our navigation area. Now, let's just zoom out a little and hide the properties. Now create a new layer and with the rectangle tool, draw a shape that covers the section we just outlined, which is, as you can see, 650 pixels in width and 40 in height, which is perfect. Okay, so now change the fill color to white. And this is our background. And we can also name it nav bg for short. Now, before we start adding the text, we will need some padding. So, zoom in a little bit. And with the rectangle marquee tool, put about 20 pixels on each side of the page. So that it's about, there we go, 20. Drag a guide there. And here too. And there we go. Now, let's see what text we need to add. We need to add view online and forward to a friend which you can see the first one is left aligned and the other is right aligned. So add a new layer, click on the horizontal type tool and start typing. View online. 
Now let's just change the font to Arial. Make it 13 point. And change the color to 888. Now we want to align this text to be in the center of the shape. So what we, we can do is by pressing the command key, click on the layer, but while you still have your text selected, and just choose Align Vertical Centers. And there we go, your text is centered around the shape. Now, instead of typing again, we can just duplicate this text and move it on the right. You can easily do that by holding down the Shift and Alt keys. So, I'm just drag it over here. And now we can enter the correct text, which is forward to a friend. And let's position it there. So this is our navigation. And these are our elements. So let's just group these by clicking on the first one and holding shift, click on the last one. So you can mark all of them and just command plus J to make a new group. And let's name that group navigation. <laughs> 